Welcome back to another episode of Quarterback Kings Talk. I'm your host, and today we're covering the Kings 3 1 win over the Colorado Avalanche. Let's hop into this. So, Kings are coming off a unfortunate overtime loss to uh, the guys that reside south of us, as in Anaheim. And we just, and this is a huge game for both teams. It's a four point swing, as they like to say. For uh, my game plan watching this game for the Kings, that if you contain their top line, you'll be good. And first period, we get, and we'll get into the first period, but Colorado's dealing without their number one goalie and without their arguably their number one defenseman. So, former LA King, Jonathan Bernier is in the net. This is going to be fun. And it was a track meet for the first first minutes, first few hockey minutes. Scary moment much later into the game, like a couple other, a couple of hockey minutes later. Derek Forbid gets crushed by uh, Bork. He ends up leaving the game. And he was spotted with crutches after the game. He's out for Thursday's game against Minnesota. Tough loss. Because that just amounts to Muzzin and I follow and now Forbes. Which is not really good. A couple minutes later, the fourth line, I believe that is, working their magic. They from the puck in, it takes a weird bounce off the stanchion on Bernier's right side. And he tries to play the puck and get back to his net. Just before, pow, Tori Mitchell bangs it in behind him, his sixth of the year. And the crowd goes crazy. Yet, I... I was just shocked that it was happening. It was, you, sometimes you need a little puck luck to win. They got some puck luck. Right then after, Dion Phaneuf drops the gloves with uh, uh, Zadorov. It was a very heavyweight fight and I don't know who won, but I know there was a, because hockey fights are Tough to judge sometimes. Much later, someone takes a penalty for us. Uh, I'm really not happy. Then, Kopitar Brown and I believe Dowdy Martinez are on the ice, and Kopitar zips it past Brown, and Brown's on a one on four entrance into the zone and shoots a dart past Bernier for a shorty, showing that he is back. So, and that is Kopitar's assist, even though two seconds after he passed Brown the puck, he just went on a change and just let, ah, I'll just go let Brown do a one on four. So, second period, wow, let's hop into that. I believe we controlled the tempo for most of the beginning of the second in terms of the first, uh, Couple hockey minutes. Then we take a penalty and Alex Kerfoot, or as I could say, Alex Kerplunk, scores on the power play. Rudy, you should use that Kerplunk thing. Um, he cuts the lead in half and wor a worrisome crowd now is the mood at Staples. I wasn't at this game, but I can, I have a I have a sense, <laughs> but you know, and then for the rest of that period, it was all as it looked like, and um, who knows what would happen if Forward didn't put ifs and buts and candy nuts. The Dodgers wouldn't have a World Series dread since 1988. Okay, I've said my baseball piece. I'm done for that. Um, I 
just shocked that they didn't get a decent enough shot net in the first in the latter half of the second period. It was just a Colorado track meet, and McKinnon, Landeskog, and Rotten, and they came oh so close by hitting the net. I mean, hitting the posts and the crossbar and Jonathan Quick, not like the actual net. Um, third period, Rath about two, almost exactly two minutes in. Uh, Kyle, Cliff Kyle Clifford and that fourth line gets ch chances in the net and Clifford slow motion backhands it in past Bernie 3-1 that big red dog is back on the board and it's 3-1 lead and that would be the score for the rest of the game and the breathing has I mean the panicking has stopped. So that was a much needed win. You just increase your lead. You're one game, one point up on the Ducks, with the Ducks playing, I believe, tonight as of recording. This is the Wednesday. And we are one point away from doing the dance. Minnesota's up next. They got their top blue line around Ryan Suter, but don't let that phase you. They are playing with a team mentality, and Barbecue Bruce will have them going nuts. As fans, wow, that was a great game. I have nothing to say about you guys. You heard my spiel back in the 7 1 win that I. Kings win when I talked about you guys also I'm probably gonna put him in to the imitations check out Rudo 3 he's in one of these uh, up here I don't know if he's posted his video yet but um, who knows ADR in the books That's it for this video. Click like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you're uh, you're new. Make sure that bell's on. Share with all your friends that hey, I'm gonna throw up this tweet that I posted right before I made this video, like last night. I want to host one of the Kings tailgate parties if we go into the playoffs. Here's a tweet. I'll see you in a couple of days and we are one point away. It feels so good. But this is an exciting time and it's pretty cool. I'll see you in another video. Give me anyone. Coming soon. Bye.